Welcome to another episode of uh, Stones and Wood in our Enchanted Forest. And uh, last time uh, I worked on this uh, lantern and it turned out uh, pretty nice. Now I have to do the other one. I have to, I want to. But uh, you know, my memory is um, not so good. I have no idea which colors I use and I actually, I, uh, I'm not going to uh, to watch my own recording. I'm just going to uh, do the other lantern and just let's see if we can get close to these uh, colors, I think. Uh, and then you will also see that you don't need exactly the same colors all the time to create similar results. So, we are having a glorious day today, again. Here in the Netherlands we are being blessed with glorious summer's days. In the, it is uh, the 2nd of June and uh, we will have, uh, we will reach 30 degrees Celsius today. It's hot, but the birds are uh, the birds are singing, and I heard a bird of prey flying through the sky. It made a noise. So let me show you. It is in the book. This is a beautiful book that I received as a gift from uh, a very nice lady from India, and there are many many animals in this book and over here this is the one the Eurasian Eurasian buzzard it is um, on warm sunny days it is uh, just sailing high in the sky and then it is shouting I think it is calling for a mate or something like that. Very, very beautiful bird. It is a quite common bird here in the Netherlands. This is a Carandash Pablo, night blue. And these birds like to sit on a fence in the fields, just uh, on the lookout to find uh, small rodents. And this is Indigo Blue, also by Pablo. Wonderful color. This is uh, slightly darker. And here is uh, Carandash Luminance, be smooth yellow. I will use this one to add a touch of color to the lantern. And someone wrote a question on YouTube to um, with the, the question was, uh, can the Holbein pencils? compete with these luminance pencils and my answer is I have no idea because I do not have Holbein pencils this one is called brown ochre
So I really don't know. Uh, I am interested in uh, buying Holbein pencils, but they are very expensive. At least they are expensive to get them here to the Netherlands. So they are on my wish list, but they are not my top priority when it comes to uh, buying pencils. I have to say I have so many very good pencils now that, um, you know, I really don't need many more pencils. Although, I love pencils. I think I said it before. If I ever become a millionaire, I will buy all the pencils in the world. Try them all. And then I will do a huge giveaway. You know, spread the joy. And here is a polychromos pencil, Naples yellow. The city of Mount Vesuvius, I believe. You know, the great volcano. Italy has uh, a couple of volcanoes and they are quite uh, active. You know Mount Etna on Sicily, the Sicily uh, island. And this is uh, sky blue. And this is an amazing color, middle cobalt blue hue by Luminance. Amazing color. And this is Polychromos in Dendrine Blue. And this color is from the Luminance series, Light Cobalt Blue. Look at that. No other color can do this. No other pencil. At least I haven't found it yet. 
amazing look at that absolutely amazing and here is luminance prussian blue you know i have several prussian blue pencils all different pencil brands and the strange thing is you would suggest with the same name prussian blue they all are the same but they are not I feel like I want to put in a little bit more color over here there's no color here on these uh, branches this is polychromos green gold wonderful color absolutely gorgeous color And this color, chromium green opaque, wonderful, dark warm green. I'm putting this green in the areas where there is not much color, where the white paper is still there. Let's do the other one too. This is a green gold again. And here is chromium green opaque again. I gave it a sharp point. This is Grass Green by 
polychromos again. I'm going to put in a touch of this because I want to create more contrast between this uh, branch and the background. Now I think I need to create a little bit more contrast and I'm going to do that with this Pablo pencil, Malachite Green. Just a touch here and there. It is a cooler green, it is almost a blue green. Now I think a touch of this will help to create contrast between the background and the forefront. Especially where the background has this yellow earthy tone. Now let's come back with the grass green. Look at that. And a little bit of that malachite green. I hope I pronounce it correctly. screen again. As I am looking at those branches I think the leaves and the branches will have to be much darker. Yes. Let's uh, do that. This is um, luminance dark sap green and uh, you know the luminance pencils will, uh, I will use them more and more, I think. And the Pablos also. We'll see what it will do. Uh, I have so many pencil brands right now, I think. <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of people who have more pencils than I have. I think I now have six sets. It all started 20 years ago with the uh, Brownsville Design pencils. Well, that is not entirely true. Before that, my parents gave me very nice sets of Karandash pencils as a child. Good quality pencils. So I always had good pencils to color and play with. But 20 years ago my first professional set was the Brownsill series. And um, then two years ago I bought a set of 60 Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils and then I added 16 extra pencils in open stock 
you know you can buy them separately that was very nice and um, then a very very nice lady from The Hague the Netherlands sent me her set of Prisma color pencil. She wasn't using them anymore and she thought I would enjoy them and she was right. I enjoy them very much. There are a couple of colors in the Prisma color set that are quite unique. And then I bought a set of 30 Erogiton pencils, Tombow Erogiton, Japanese pencils, very hard pencils but with very interesting colors and a couple of them are uh, my favorites. And then, a couple of months ago, a very nice lady from India sent me a set of Karandash Luminance pencils. Now that was a surprise. Exquisite quality. And she also sent me that beautiful book that I just showed you with the... Uh, bird of prey in it the European buzzard so and then a couple of weeks ago another surprise came in the mail a beautiful set of Pablo pencils also by Luminance absolutely lovely sent to me by a wonderful lady from Belgium thank you thank you thank you you all so So, in total I have six sets of pencils, and uh, how many pencils would it be? A hundred. But aren't they pencils? Then I think about a hundred and thirty, or maybe even more, Prismacolor pencils, so that is two hundred and thirty pencils. Then 76 polychromos pencils, so that is 200, that is 306 pencils. Then 30 erogiton pencils, so that is makes 336. And then there are the 76 luminance pencils so that makes uh, three four four hundred and twelve something like that and then 40 pablo pencils so that is 452 pencils <laughs> 452 pencils and all good quality pencils so I feel rich, I feel very rich. Yes, this is uh, starting to look much, much better. I have to do some more work on the leaves because I haven't colored them all yet, but I feel like I want to do something else for now. Why not just do that? 
This is raw sienna. And as you can see, the door over here is quite not finished yet. So I'm going to put in a touch of this raw sienna here and there. Again, in the areas where the layer of pencil is very thin. Prismacolor has um, beautiful, very light yellows, and this is one of them, sand, sable, sable, that is it, in, en français, in French, sable. And here is a brown ochre 50% by Luminance, very interesting color. It would do great as a uh, 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 skin tone. Just a touch of it. It is slightly warmer than the pencil that I used earlier. Just. And I'm putting it in just here and there. So now that there is a lot more color on this door, the yellow, I immediately see that I want to change things, but uh, this is a good start, very good start. So this is it for so far. I hope you uh, enjoyed it and uh, well, 
Until next time, bye-bye.